And as we've been talking about on this program for so many months, you might want to make curcumin part of your daily diet. This active ingredient in the Indian curry spice turmeric not only lowers your chances of getting cancer and Alzheimer's disease, but may reduce the size of a stroke. Well, here he is, author and researcher Christian Wilde, back with us. His latest books, Miracle Stem Cell Heart Repair, Hidden Causes of Heart Attack and Stroke as well. Here he is to talk about a spice that you brought to the program, Christian, some time ago. Turmeric looks like uh, a number of scientists are beginning to jump on board with what you've been telling us. Boy, it's never ending. The more the more time I put into doing the research for the uh, stem cell research letter, the more I'm finding out about how turmeric is being used for the treatment of some of the most catastrophic diseases, from prostate cancer to breast cancer, to Alzheimer's and breaking down the beta amyloid plaques in the brain, to colon cancer. It, it's just it's just amazing. And, and, and you know, even even doing some research, I found out that when Johnson and Johnson makes its Band Aid strips in India, yeah. they saturate the little gauze pad with turmeric for its healing I and anti-infection. It's pretty amazing. It just keeps going on. Oh, Christian, it's just a spice. It's just a spice. How can it do so many things? <laughs> well, it's. Uh, They've been using it for more than 2,500 years, the recorded information that they have on it. And as you and I mentioned two or three times before, uh, the country that is host of the lowest incidence of breast cancer, colon cancer, dementia, Alzheimer's, is India. And it's a primary spice used in their curry dishes, also China. But in doses up to nine grams, which is a lot, any side effects. That, and that's a lot. Nope. That's an awful lot. What we're really about is finding information that can save people's lives and improve their lives, and uh, it just keeps showing up in one disease after another that they're being it's being treated. Uh, it uh, for one thing in cancer, it inhibits the formation of cells that will form the tumor. It inhibits them. And it, it inhibits also the promotion of those cells as they would normally increase through the body. And on top of that, they stop the metastasizing of the cells. And uh, in one of the newsletters, we talked about uh, uh, Barrett uh, Agrawal, one of the world leaders who's doing the studies at the MD Anderson. And uh, uh, George, he is now doing a study with pancreatic cancer using turmeric. This may end up being a wonder spice. It absolutely is. And you know what? It, it sounds like it could be one of the most valuable things out there. Yeah, more and more. And it's anti-inflammatory. It's a COX-2, a natural inhibitor of uh, inflammation, which is more and more. As, as my first book, remember the subtitle was Inflammation, Cardiology's Newest Frontier. And from there, we now know that inflammation in cancer, it's an inflammatory disease, in Alzheimer's disease, in most all the diseases, certainly arthritis, and now they find it's also involved with diabetes. So anything you can do to control inflammation in your body, that's the killer. Christian, I'm already getting countless emails from people who want to know if they should use turmeric merely as the spice in food or go get capsules. I recommend the capsules, and it must be turmeric curcumin supplement. It's actually a spice, isn't it? Yes, it is. 2,500 years old. Uh, Even though the the stem cell report is primarily about breakthroughs in stem cell research, I'm going to devote a good portion of it, this issue, to turmeric and the miraculous things that it does. It's involved in everything. You know, the second leading cause of death among men in the United States is prostate cancer. It's no small coincidence that the country of India has the lowest incidence of prostate cancer. And that's just the beginning. It goes on from there. We can talk about breast cancer among women and how turmeric is being used in studies at the leading cancer centers in the world. Unbeknownst to the world in general, turmeric is a natural COX-2 inhibitor. That's something that it does in reducing inflammation. And it has for centuries. 
That, these are not just, you know, these aren't little tidbits that are picked up here and there. I'm looking at all of the journals, the medical journals. I'm tracing them back. And everything that I'm talking about is well-versed and documented in the medical journals and at the major universities. MD Anderson uh, at the University of Texas is one of the leading cancer centers in the world. And basically what they've done with turmeric now and Taxol, which we were talking about, Taxol is toxic as it is. When they add turmeric to the procedure, the toxicity lessens and it does not lose its effect. Now, the biggest concern is and women understand this very well that are listening tonight. The biggest concern is after you had your chemotherapy and after you've gone through radiation, the big fear is metastasizing to the lung. And that can happen all too often. When they've added turmeric, curcumin, to the Taxol drug in mice at this point, now they're doing human trials, but in the mice studies, it would not move and metastasize to the lung. That's fantastic. That's just a couple of things, and there are going to be about 30 of those in the newsletter. Do you think one of the reasons that uh, Big Pharma does not or or wants to uh, legislate uh, herbs and supplements, control it, maybe give it out via prescription, is because it's natural? Of course. It's available to us. It's cheap. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's let's assume for a moment that... uh, Turmeric is truly working to reduce inflammation, not only in, you know, your body for people who have arthritis and pain, but you also believe it's incredible for inflammation in your arteries. They don't have any any uh, side effects. And what about aspirin? You still a booster on that? Oh yeah, it's um, uh, it's going to have to take second place as a wonder drug now to uh, turmeric, uh, as, as I'm finding in the studies. Wonder supplement. Yeah. Turmeric has the ability to shut down cancer's switches. The two main switches are STAT-3 and nuclear kappa B. All scientists dealing with cancer are aware of those two pathways. Turmeric shuts them down. 